Hello and welcome to the special edition of Logo we bring to you from south of France, Cannes. Cannes is a quaint place with a lot of bars, pubs, beaches and but of course Paledi Festival, the key venue for Cannes Lion 2011. Cannes is a quaint place. Cobble streets, little cafes, beautiful beaches, seafront restaurants, and of course the Paletti Festival, where Khan Lions 2011 was held. Hours spent at the Palais absorbing everything about global advertising and marketing trends, looking at some of the best international creative work on display, attending the award ceremonies is an experience that one would cherish for a lifetime. McCann Erickson, Bucharest for American Rom for Candia Dulce, well done! The awards bashes held in the vast theatre of the Paletti Festival have been described as the advertising industry's Oscars. Well, I think the big thing is the shift from being an advertising festival to being a creative festival. And that seems to have really got some traction. Uh, people are very excited by that idea. There was so much more to the Khan Lions 58th International Festival of Creativity than the elaborate pageantry of the nightly award ceremonies alone. The most striking part of Khan this year was the presence of several marketers and brand managers in addition to the regular advertising folks who come here every year. For the first time this time, we really felt that the proportion of senior marketers here, it's nearing 20 to 25 percent, and the debate and the discussions that are happening around brands, it's no longer enough to have a good idea. It has to travel. People realize the importance of global. The Cannes Advertising Festival kicked off on Sunday, but for most of the advertising and marketing folks, the Cannes Alcohol Festival kicked off the night before. The venue for most of them was, as always, a few hundred meters from the Palais, a bar that's known to anyone who has ever been to Cannes as the Gutter Bar. It's a ritual to end one's long Palais days with longer nights at the Gutter Bar. Those are the best creative brains across the world letting their hair down at Cannes. Khan is all about celebration of creativity and as a part of the celebration, key awards were given in various categories. As a part of the special capsule, we put together Grumpy winners for some of these categories. This year's Khan Ad Festival drew to a close with Wyden and Kennedy Amsterdam picking up the coveted Film Grand Prix for its epic Right the Future spot for Nike. Every four years, the keys to football heaven are dangled in front of the international elite. The goal set by brand managers was to weave the brand into the conversations around this major tournament in a way that celebrated the participating teams and athletes and engaged football fans around the world. Right the Future is a very, very difficult brief because it's all about football, which is such a local spirit, right? You know, it's your passion for your country, your passion for your team, your passion for your football player. But it was a global brief. So enormously difficult to do that for a creative person. Create a global, you know, commercial that connects locally. Very difficult. And the way that it's done is just so beautiful. Las Vegas was once the city of sin. Now it has become a city of cliches. Hotels have relied on gimmicks and themes to distinguish themselves, creating a cluttered marketplace. The challenge for the brand managers at the Cosmopolitan was to create an immersive experience for hotel guests that set apart the property on the strip. 
the design work created by Digital Kitchen Chicago, picked up a Grand Prix for this. Digital Kitchen approached the portals as digital canvases and the entire resort as an art gallery. South Korea is a unique market. Tesco has been evolving itself. Tesco had to overcome to one Korea's obstacle, more. fewer Koreans stores, compared to the number one company, E-Mart. Could Tesco become number one without increasing the number of stores? So the brand conducted an in-depth study and found that Koreans are the second most hard-working people in the world. For them, grocery shopping once a week is a dreaded task. So the brand decided to approach these busy and tired people wherever they were without having to visit the actual store. This work, backed with interesting consumer insights, got the creators a Grand Prix in the media category at Calm this year. I thought it was one of the things which showed us direction for the future. What it did was, you know, retail space is so expensive and you no normally need to go to the retail space and figure out what is to be bought out or you actually go there. But this is great because it's used, it's used the old medium, which is outdoor. It is used a new medium, which is, you know, mobile and its technology. The other big winner at Calm this year was Droga 5 New York which picked up the Integrated Grand Prix for its Decode project for Jay-Z and Bing. The campaign was also awarded the Outdoor Grand Prix. Bing, Microsoft's search engine, came to us to drive trial of Bing search and maps and increase their relevance with a young audience. At the same time, we knew that Jay-Z would soon be launching his autobiography, Decoded. With one big idea, we harnessed this epic moment in pop culture connected our client to a new demographic and gave millions a reason to use Bing. We started by putting every page of Jay-Z's book out in the world every day for a month prior to the book's release. But the pages weren't just randomly placed. Every page's location was inspired by the story on each page, putting Jay-Z's entire biography in context. Fans could actually walk through Jay-Z's life right where it happened finding pages in 13 major cities in the U.S. and abroad, searching for everything from huge iconic billboards to unique collectible items. And if the media didn't exist near Jay-Z's life landmarks, we created it, taking the campaign to places money just can't buy. The Grand Prix for Good, a new award category introduced last year that aims to celebrate charitable campaigns, was won this year by Leo Burnett Melbourne for the campaign See the Person, for the client Scope. Our brief was to promote Scope, a not-for-profit organisation that supports people with disabilities. We began with a simple insight. When people meet somebody with a disability, that's often all they see. But if you take the time to look beneath the surface, you soon realise what they're really capable of. We took an amazing group of individuals and let their talent help everyone see the person, not just the disability. The idea was simple. We became band promoters and launched their new song and our message to Australia. We chose a poignant single from the band's album created the artwork and released it using the music industry. We don't want to <clears throat> people to see the disability, we want them to see the person and what the person can achieve. So we thought, well, let's find um, a group of people suffering from disabilities that have achieved something great and then share it with the world. And we found the band and we made the video and we played it on national TV. This year saw the introduction of another new award category, the Creative Effectiveness Lions. This is in part recognition of the increasing role that clients are playing at Cannes. And this year, the Grand Prix for Creative Effectiveness was bagged by the Sandwich Campaign, created by Abbott Mead Vickers BBDO London for Pepsi. British people told us a sandwich is more exciting with a packet of Walker's crisps. But less than one in ten buy Walker's at lunch. Our idea, prove Walker's crisps make any sandwich more exciting. And we do mean any. Welcome to Sandwich, one of the quietest villages in England. Until we planned a day of surprises, Sandwich would never forget.
What's he doing here? Oh, fantastic. Best thing in my life ever. <laughs> Something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Lie around all day, have a drink or chase yourself and choose, yeah. That's what I hate. You say we go. Those are the Groppy winners of the first six categories at Cannes this year. Time now to move to a short breather, but don't go away. On the other side, we bring to you part two of the Groppy winners. Mm -hmm.